What are we talking? We are talking dating. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Do you, you know, remember me? Yes. You now know her. <laughs> you know. If you don't know her, go back and watch the other one. Otherwise, you'll just be lost. Yes. You have to like. You this have is to. Kautuma for those of you who don't know her. For everything else, go and find us. The other videos. We will not take long in introducing. So a few weeks ago, we had a conversation. I had a conversation on here with Kay ah, and the conversation about how dating in Nairobi streets is an extreme sport. Is. Now, imagine. It's an extreme sport for Mikal and Kay. And we're talking a lot about the talking stage. And so I wanted you to come here. It was so all foreign to me. <laughs> yes. Because I you were like, what is talking stage? So do tell us, what's <clears throat> dating like in the Muslim world in Nairobi? <laughs> Okay, we don't date. Okay. Islamically, okay, yes, people date because you know we modernize everything, but we don't do dating. Okay. And even if we do dating, it is halal, like okay. permissible dating. We have uh, a guardian or oh. no, like like a cool, not a your chaperone. dad. Yeah, a chaperone, not your dad. Yes, but okay, so like an aunt. Yeah, but preferably a dude. So like oh. a cousin, a okay. okay, no, not a cousin. A cousin okay. can marry you, a brother. <laughs> the yeah. chaperone might be the one. Imagine. I... <laughs> so, so now, like so you meet somebody, and you want to go to lunch. Then like your brother can come. With yeah, you. my brother. He can just sit over there. Oh. No, he doesn't sit with us. He can go sit over there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But with the setting that is nowadays, <laughs> restaurants are public. Yes. So we can just go to a restaurant. Okay, so you I don't need the chaperone. Yeah. Okay. Because the chaperone is there because no two people Shall can stay in the place don't together. And, and attract holes. My, you know. my, my mother would tell you <laughs> that you can't put a mouse and groundnuts in the same room <laughs> and expect the groundnuts to go untouched. So I suspect this is the same yes. concept. At some point, yeah. the mouse will go. And find those ground nuts and chew them. So <laughs> she said this to me when I was going to visit my husband. The, then he yeah. answered someone. True. Mm. So you see, nowadays that's not unless you go to a hotel, which I would not advise. <laughs> because again. <laughs> exactly. So but if you're going to Java at a restaurant, it's public. There are people around you. You're not mm -hmm. gonna jump on mm -hmm. each other. And if you do, then you'll just be at people. But let me tell you, that hotel business. Like you guys, when I was in college, I was a stupid, dumb teenager. <laughs> like now I look back, it was just God's Shh, grace that goodness. saved me. Like I would visit boys in their homes. And now I look back, I'm just like anything they could have happened. happened. True. And also that I was not ready for. Back then, it was anyway. safer, maybe. No, I think I just met, maybe I just knew, I just knew the right people. people. Yes, True. because now I Your think back and I'm also. just like, I could never do that now. So for us, we don't do that. We don't do the secrecy, the privacy. Mm. Even on the phone, you told you you cannot talk to a non-mahram. A non-mahram mm. is somebody who not can't going to be, yeah. who's not going to be your husband. Who example. can be your husband? Like a non-mahram is somebody who can marry you. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you don't have you know those secret private conversations, and that and with WhatsApp, how do you do that? Saves us the trouble of. Talking okay, stage. You can just be like somebody meets me and say, you know, Kaltumayo, I want to know you. Okay, this is my dad's number. You know? Really? And then another thing that does is seals out all the idiots. Yes, yes, yes. Only a potential parents. and somebody who's serious would call your dad or your brother or your mom. So me, that's by then. That's so wait, what I they're mean. calling your mom to do to say what? I want to go out with you. I want to get to know your dad. Ah. To your do your daughter. Oh, my so dad. Like yeah, my dad used to say, bring them to the house. So I'm like, how many people have you introduced your dad so far? Two. Oh, that's <laughs> not bad. That's not a bad count. Just two. Two. I'm sure he's like, okay, you're doing okay. Yeah, you're doing okay. <laughs> so, what yeah. happens if you like the guy? One th and then who does not like the guy? If no, I like the guy and then he does not like me. No, maybe no. It's if not I like your somebody, friends. if I see you and you are potential, you're, you know, I will not shoot my shot. I am not those <laughs> people. I can do everything except that. <laughs> you will not no. shoot it. Really? No, I cannot. So you just let the crush pass. Yeah, you just go. Why you're not meant to be? Sometimes I think you know what should go for things, and I'm like, 
<laughs> yeah, like this is what this is what Michaela told me so that she tells me thank you. <laughs> She's just like oh. so that she tells it's me thank true. you. I want the old fashioned way. You approach me. Yes, I am Okay, got it. I can I can understand that. Yeah, I cannot do that. At the approach I guy. At the city go DM me. At the hi, I like you. <laughs> never. Really? So you've never like be yeah. the, made the, okay but again so like girls have a certain way of declaring interest without declaring interest have you done that no because those, most those, times those people who post or crush can see no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> even just in real life like for me i remember in college there was this guy that i liked but everybody was like that guy doesn't talk to people he's unfriendly and then i just <laughs> made sure i appeared yeah. a lot in his presence navigated and meandered my way until no. he thought it was his idea to date. Yeah. He dated. It was never his idea. Yeah. But I sort of like yeah. engineered it. So that's my question. Like, no. do you engineer? No. Okay. I like, I appreciate from a distance. Say, mashallah, and move on. <laughs> and okay. move on. Okay, so okay. Light of you were explaining that, the process. So now, you he calls your parents, says, I want to know her. Then what happens? Then you start going on dates. <clears throat> yeah, like those supervised dates. Or... You know, if you're responsible, okay, for in my household, my parents, what, you know, once I have told me and my parents, we have this like an open relationship. Mm-hmm. Me, somebody talks to me on the street and tells me something, I'll come and tell my mother, you know, there's a man who stopped you and you told me that. Uh-huh. And that person. So if you already have a trust between you and your parents, fine, they'll let you go out in a public place. But at the beginning, they come to your house. Okay. You have, oh, okay. my dad, oh, okay. my dad used to say, we have coffee in the house. We have, we have tea. tea we what have are you going to find outside there? Okay. The house. So you now, now when they're in the hotel, mm-mm. but how are breakups then? Over, over the phone. Okay, my yeah. parents did not approve. And then another thing. What if it's you? And then huh? another so, thing about me is my parents' word. No matter how much I want something, if my parents tell me, you know what, this is not good for you, they know what is good. No, I listen. believe what is good. <laughs> you Even are if not I those wanted, people who will try. Yes, me and not those people who will be like, but you know, mom, mm-hmm. you, we, you are like, okay. Sour. Well, the they first are person, wiser, and yeah. they know you from like zero to So now. the first time I told somebody to come talk to my dad, which I thought I'm he would to decide not. on which donut to have, guys. <laughs> This is the problem I'm having in life. Which one am I eating? Strawberry. Okay. <clears throat> Carry on. Uh-huh. So the first time I told somebody to come to a house, I thought he was not going to come. Mm-hmm. But he did. And uh, it was my friend's brother. Yeah, it was weird. I had gone to my friend's sister's wedding. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, yeah, that whole mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. So my friend calls me. She's like, oh, Suji, my brother, he wants, to be, he wants you guys to hang out. Suji, he wants me to give him your number. I was like, Oh, you give me my dad's number. That's better, you know. <laughs> and then she's like, "Ah, sure, no problem. I do, I'll give him. I don't know what you'll mm-hmm. do with it." So she gave him the number. He calls my dad. And Did she say it was yours or your dad's? No, she told him it's my dad. Okay. So he calls the number and he tells my dad, "I want to come to your house. I want to meet you." And then my dad's like, "Meet me for what? <laughs> do I know you? <laughs> you know, like." And then he's like, "Oh, sorry." And then he introduced himself and he's like. His purpose and my dad is like, oh, okay, fine. You can come at this time. And parents know everything. My, par- mm-hmm. my dad mm-hmm. tested him from the time he had invited him. That guy failed miserably. <laughs> he was told to come around uh, 3.30. Then at 4, we prayed. Yeah, so the guy just stood there. He forgot to... He okay. forgot that no, he's no, supposed no, to pray. Continue. Mm-hmm. It's not jump stone. Okay, go, go, continue. <laughs> Sorry. So now... My dad tells the guy, come on this day at this time. He's like, fine, we're so excited. So he comes. Of course, we had prepared some mocho pocho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he comes, he sits. Up. My, you know, all these wazers, they know it, they know everybody. So my dad mm-hmm. ended up doing his dad and everything, oh, his family. Yes, so yes. He knows his family and he spoke. And then we, we live near a mosque, so we could hear the call of prayer. So the call of prayer comes. My dad says, oh, okay, me, I'm going to the mosque. It's time to go for prayers. And then my dad gets up. Dude did not get up. He stood. How dumb was he, though? He just sat there and he's like, yeah, it's okay. Okay, my oh, no, he, I, did not get I was like, like, guys, this man. And then as my dad is walking. That is so yeah, obvious. My dad is going to, to the car and I'm asking my dad. So, Abu, Abu is dad in Somali. I was like, so how did it go? My dad is like, he does not pray. <laughs> and I got into his car. I was like, what do you mean he does not pray? 
oh, I, I went back to the sitting room. My dad had, my dad went. He didn't even care what's happening after him. My dad just left. So I go to the sitting room and then he's like, oh, your dad knows my dad. Oh, he, this guy thinks he is. He has points, extra points, you know, because he doesn't know each other. Past exactly. The so, exactly. So, so my, so I tell him, okay. And then you know me, I'm still giving him like, I'm, I'm not telling him directly, dude, you need to go to the mosque. But, but, but like, figure it out. Yeah. yeah. So it's I, the same way if I go to my, this is why I don't go to my husband's village because I'll be expected to carry things on my head and draw water. I would draw water from the well. It's common sense. How yeah. can we not see that he needs to do this? Exactly. So this guy just sits there for, for 15. Tell me, I'm like, eh, okay, so okay, me, I need to go and pray now. So Yeah, like, and then he's like, oh yeah, okay, so bye. So, so now you'll tell me how this goes. Like, I was like, okay, sure. I came, I that later in the was day. Was he a practicing Muslim or he just... I don't know. <laughs> That's the final like... day I ever spoke to him. <laughs> I can't. I it dropped was him. over before bah! it began. Exactly. It was over. So, yeah, because somebody like that, you can't, you then won't be able to relate. Exactly. Because when you need to so, pray, you'll be looking at you like, where do you always uh, pray? Yeah, uh, exactly. Like there was one who told me that once. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. was, was I taught is... that, I was like, was I taught a different Islam than yours? Like, mm-hmm. Clearly. Okay, okay, thank you. So anyways, I tell him exactly, I mean, I'm going to pray. So he's like, you'll tell me how it goes. I'm like, cool, cool. He goes, and my dad comes and then my dad tells me. And you know, you as much as we say you don't get married into the family, you, you do, do get you married do. to you the do. entire family. You know. The grandmother, the ancestors, you married. Them. <laughs> yes. Just don't say, it's going to be just me and him. No. Mm-hmm. Especially if he's close <clears throat> to his family, forget that. Exactly. You are also in there. So to my dad, it was not the appropriate family. Okay. So my dad told me. Oh, so he even yeah, knew the family. The family. So, he so my dad said, "These are not the appropriate family. Okay. Your okay. beliefs and the, your and upbringing yes. are gonna clash okay. and everything." So mm. And that, that looks simple when you're in love, but in reality, those see are how the that things. helps me. If I had mm. gone out with this guy and already mm. created a relationship in my head, and, and then had those like butterflies, mm. so you know, mm. and I would be like, "Oh no, but I like him." Yes, mm. yes. That's why I didn't care. So. So this saves us all the trouble, the heartache. Yes. I don't know what heartache. <laughs> They're like, what is that? Who is that? People cry. I'm like, Tio, you are why you did that? I'm like, did what? Why are you crying? Why are you crying because of a man? They're like, you do not understand us. Mm-hmm. Like, no. <laughs> why did you put yourself in that situation? A man. Why are you crying because of a man? Okay. Who's not your husband or your dad? The only person I cry for is my dad. <laughs> He's the only man who will never let you down. So true. Kind of true because mm, these boys out here. Based on the stories I was hearing from Mikala and Kian. Mikala is sad. And has his extra Brad Pitt. Yes. I was yes. telling her with our Kenyan situation, I don't know. But we, we don't know how we will pull it off. Yes. But, but okay. And then, so now so let's yeah, say if your parents approved, what happens next? So if my parents approve and they say, okay, fine, you can get to know him. We now start talking. Of course, yes, I know it's not good to talk on that phone, but we do that. Mm-hmm. So you start talking to the person, but you limit it. I'm not going to waste my sleep for a man. <laughs> at 3 a.m. at the minute, go to store. Of course. No way. <laughs> and I have to wake up in the morning. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so you talk, and then? You, you can meet, not all the time. You, can, you know that whole meeting all the time? You're creating an attachment. Yes. So by the time if it does not work out and if your parents don't approve, somewhere ha- something happens along the way, that is when the heartache comes. Mm, mm, mm. Because you got attached to this human. But yeah. if it's all official and you ask questions, <laughs> you know, yes, it's official. Not, not it's what, official. Not it's what, a what is your favorite color? Not I, what is yeah. your favorite color? I don't care about your favorite color, by the way. <laughs> so, and another thing, thank God for my dad, he actually gives us, tells us, Mm-hmm. Questions to ask a potential. Oh, my dad I is like a, that. My dad is like, uh huh. When you have a potential asking ladies, you can maybe ask these questions because they yeah, save you a lot these. of trouble. Pay attention, take a look out. Mm. Damn it, I think I have it in my phone. But number one, my dad says, is how does he handle anger? If he gets Ooh, angry, yes. If yes. he gets angry, even if it's not your yeah. fault, whatever the anger came from, yeah. how is it going to handle to that? That's a yes. good one. Number two, which is a deal breaker even for me. Yeah. How does that pers- person interact with people that, according to him, they're lower? They're like yeah. service people. That, yeah. 
you know, like the, yeah. the gate I think man. I didn't mention this when we yeah talk, we the gate man that I want to know the waiters and waitresses. Mm -hmm. You know, there were actually companies. Sorry, I'm talking about <clears> you. But there were companies that started using that as an interview technique. So they interview you in a restaurant just to see how, how you interact. You don't know why yeah. you're being interviewed, but because they say it shows character. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So that's and it, your table manners. You choose. You check how. Oh, oh, okay. You're talking about <laughs> one. It was anger. Anger. Two is uh, how they interact with people. service workers. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Two, if your job is your main source of income, if you lost it today, what would you do? Okay. Yes, what will you do? Are you gonna okay. come home stressing me because you lost okay. your job? Good point. Good, yeah. good question. If you're hey, this is a deep question. Yes. I think oh. I ask people those questions who are interested in me and they're like, eh. Yes, they start fidgeting. <laughs> so yeah, if you lost your job and it's your main source of income, what would you do? And then how do you handle uh stress to you, whatever is stressful to you, how do you handle those situations? Mm. If you're stressed, do you want me to talk to you? Do you want me to leave you alone? Yeah. Do you want me to just sit there and just be present, not talking, just just sit there? What mm. do you want me to do? Not tell you, I'm stressed and I come talk to you and just jump on me. Mm. Another thing, check, ask him about his relationship with the females in his life, his mom, his, his sisters. sisters. You know, you know that those guys, their sister calls and they're like, ah, it's yes. my sister. Yes. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. If I called my brother and he did that, I'd be like, dude. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do that. Check that. It's an entire list. But aren't you then worried about him being a mama's boy? No. He's too close to them. No, not too close to them. There's being a mama's boy and then there's and being then there's respectful being and then okay. there's just being there for your family. Okay. Family, a family man is important. True. True. If you're not a family True. man, then what are we doing together? Yeah. Yeah. Let me while she's looking, while she's looking, I'm going to talk about that one that, um, you were talking about when you were saying how does the person handle stress i think that's really important and when if you lost your job what would you do i think a lot of people fail to set those things before they get married a lot of people are so in love that it's all roses and romance you forget the practical stuff and then a year in you got a loan to have your big wed wedding for some people you now have a baby that's also expensive real life kicks in and it becomes such a stress factor. So I think I really do agree that some of these questions are really important. As Kay said, stop asking people their favorite color. Start asking the difficult questions. Yes. Yes. But and do that. listening to that, it, these are actually very reasonable questions. I haven't heard anything you've asked that would make me be like, red flag, this chick mm. is too much. Yeah. All those are very reasonable questions. And if that a guy that is thinking about marriage, marriage. Because we're talking about people, serious people, we're not talking about talking stage people here, we're talking about people who want to marry you. Those are reasonable questions that they can ask. Another thing here, it's an entire list. I oh, the down. list is here. Yes. Like the focus. How was your childhood? We might just make a, a, an online form. Yes. When he says I'm interested, email it. Yeah, you just email it. Send me your answer. Fill it. Then we'll apply artificial intelligence and analyze whether you're worthy or not. Mm -hmm. okay, How so was your on. childhood? Okay. That's it. So. Yes. That's important to see. Yes. Because some people, I have a friend who says that her husband was raised by wolves and it has translated. No, it's true. It's true. Because, and for sure, <coughs> their marriage underwent a lot of strain because his childhood and her childhood were totally different. Like she was brought up with rules and, you know, everything. He was brought up in a home where it was very loose, very free flowing and so on. And so they could never agree on very specific things. Even the way he conducted himself was more, ah, that's not a big deal. Whereas to her, it's a See? big deal. Yeah. So that's very if she had question. asked the right question. Mm, and then even his mother, his sister, like you're saying, the relationships were just yeah. wolf-like. And then <laughs> another thing, what is respect to you? Like, True. And True. do you believe I, as your spouse, need your respect so because some people important. just think you know you are, you're my wife and once you go through yeah. the door important. respect goes out and that's something that even in once christianity they put you in the box. we see people mistranslating the whole wives be submissive mm -hmm. then the husband thinks that's an open door for him to just disrespect you as long as you submit and so on so yeah good one next and then do you find house chose to be feminine like it's my duty to clean after you so, <laughs> friends, there are people See, who like cleaning. My dad, I am not that person. He is. He is. He told us 
still and I, I joke about to this us. on Instagram and mm. I say guys make sure your man can cook and clean uh-huh. guys when lockdown happened in 2020 I was just like thank you lord that my husband is that person because the first thing you know in March last year we all panicked so we all like shipped off the housekeeper we're like don't come don't come and there was no way lazy me would have pulled everything off if I had somebody who thought that everything was my responsibility. So we were able to like divvy up the chores for the three months that she was away. He did most of the like making sure mm. that the house is livable. Exactly. So yeah. And then the, uh, I think this is last one. So. Wait. Oh, it's spirituality. Oh, yes. that was the only question my dad asked me when I told him yes. that there was somebody. So I so. My husband's called Fred. I just so that I can just call him Fred. I'm tired of saying my husband. So Fred came. He was dropping me off. My dad met him at the gate, and I was like, "Oh, when he left, I was like, that's your potential future son-in-law." The mm-hmm. only thing he asked was, "What religion is he?" Mm-hmm. He didn't ask me anything else. And I said, "He's Christian." He said, "That's fine." And I was like, "He's Kenyan." He was like, "I don't care if he's Kenyan or Zambian. I don't care anything else. Religion can be such a nightmare if you don't agree." So I understand. That Another question. thing is. For our some since I'm Somali and all that, it was Somali men are just you know how like I said this in Mikhala's video, Somali men generally are protective creatures, mm. right? And you mm. know like mm. they like to own you. Now now Somali there is just they out take there. like a few more steps exactly. So now my mm. dad asked me to, told us to ask, what are your thoughts if you say you want to go out, you know, go hang mm. out with your friends mm. and how much attention does he need? Like, does he want to be, you want to there all the time? Guys, like, I have people <laughs> whose boyfriends stress them when they don't pick up their phone in class. I'm in class. Why am I answering your phone? My Stop future. My future is yeah. important though. So, yeah, those are the things my dad told us. Every time there's a potential. Hey, that sounds epic. Yes. For men out that. there who are fathers, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, I always tell my guy friends who have daughters, you are the role model the, whatever true. you put your children through that's what so my sister had a boyfriend who always used to say your dad spoiled you because my dad was like that my dad's like that he's like i have you met are people a princess, like that you will be treated somebody who like told me princess. your dad lied to you you're not a princess <laughs> and i was like oh i'm a princess to you yes you cannot even if make it so go you away. treat your kids a certain normally when i see friends of mine who accept abuse and tolerate it to an unreasonable they extent that is normal. i always ask i start to ask questions and i always find out oh my dad left home for three months at once and then just walked back in one day and my mom accepted it oh this happened and this happened and then i start to put that together saying this behavior is normalized to them so men who are watching please please make sure you set a standard that when somebody tries to break you're just like what are we doing here what is this I don't know what this is. I can't relate. So, maybe with your dad. That's why I am. Should I say my age? I am old. <laughs> she's very young. This one. Anyway, she's a baby, but she's white. To my culture, I'm single, no children. Oh my god, I have failed. They don't say all the other things. They just see, oh my god, should I have children? She's not married. Right now, she's not like you are the the man, not the bag, the man. <laughs> That's oh, that's another thing that we need to stop doing, especially as Africans. We need to stop putting marriage as a goal, because then you just end up marrying. Anything okay, you that get comes married, and then what? Yeah, you just marry anything that comes your way because that's a goal. goal. Now. And I'm just like, guys, life is too short to be miserable. <coughs> so, <laughs> yeah, is and divorce not... allowed? Yes, it's allowed. It Under is... what circumstances, or is it just I'm tired of giving back? I'm curious. <laughs> You do get tired. No, you made the tea go to the room. I'm so sorry. Pipe now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> okay, now look what you did. I'm I was sorry. okay. I'm sorry. It was an innocent question. <coughs> so, you're tired. <coughs> so, divorce is allowed. Okay. But of course, the same way. In other Catholics. For example, Catholics, I think there's certain things. You know what? I've things. had enough of you. Can you carry your bags? No. no. Because we don't have carried our bags by now. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, another thing my dad asked me about patience. How yeah. patient is this person? 
the same thing about when you lose your job for however the way he's going to handle that also will tell you about how patient mm. how tolerant mm. that person is so yeah you don't expect me to it's you, you lost your job it's not my fault mm. now why are you putting it on mm. me and that tends to happen i was actually having this conversation with fred where i was telling him that i've realized that a lot of times if men are under financial stress the person they take it out on is the wife it's mm -hmm. always the wife that suffers and sometimes the wife doesn't even know i had a friend who had such serious marital issues and i'm like what's the issue she's like i don't know mm. And I was like, check his finances. She was like, no, we have money. Priscilla, we have money. I was like, check his <laughs> money. Me, not Two yours, years later, she came back. She was like, <clears throat> we had money on the surface. We had no real money. And I was like, if you can't pinpoint the source of your problems, most of the time I've realized he's taking out all his his the damage to his ego his insecurities around providing as a man they all start to come out on you so sometimes you just <clears> have to check sir <laughs> yeah, okay. let's look at our investments are we okay oh divorce yeah it is allowed it is uh the one thing that is halal in islam that god does not that god dislikes mm -hmm. it's allowed completely but he dislikes of course, it of course it's the same in christianity yeah so it's allowed if of course, you know there are people who sit down, you know, both from both families, mm. Mm. religious elders. <clears throat> okay. And if all he's not taking care of your basic needs without any legit explanation, he's not there as a father, not present like as that. a as a husband. Yeah, they, yeah, you come and say why you want a divorce. Yeah. And a woman can initiate. You know, people always think the man is the one who mm. does Islamically, but even a woman can ask for a divorce. Okay. If you, he's not. Going as part of which is not one. behaving like yes, a marriage person, exactly. and that's the other thing. Uh, some marriages are no longer marriages, like yes. you're saying, he's not there, he's not yes. present. We're buddies. Yes, he's not <clears throat> providing, you are not present. You are, it's like, what are we doing? Back to dating, so yeah, that is allowed under those conditions to dating. So, yeah, the whole I don't need a chat buddy, I have chat buddies. <laughs> she can call me, she wants to just chat, exactly. So, the whole uh talking stage mm. mehala i'm sorry i don't know what that is you cannot relate i cannot you relate. Cannot relate and you refuse to relate i, I, I do I, I, after the, watching the video i'm like we'll go through that it? yes yes no and worse <laughs> and worse and what was that guy's name kamau street somebody mm. we called him kamau, kamau that, and video, that yeah you didn't do good by the way that was not nice <laughs> if you're watching this so anyways that's it we don't we we the whole getting having a wali, having a part, a guardian, a chaperone there, saves you the struggle mm. of heartache, mm. stalking stage, chat buddies. It saves you all that. And a potential man, if you tell him, call my dad, call my brother, call my mom, the yeah. idiots will go away immediately. But a potential will do that. And yeah, I'm not gonna shoot my shot. What else? <laughs> she refuses. Yes. I Last just, question though. What do you say to people who listen to you, are used to the whole, I'm in love, and think you're not happy? Or think you can't possibly be happy in your marriage if it's like that? What do you say to that? No, but even in a relationship. Like, have you been in a relationship where no. you're happy? No. I've never been in a relationship. Oh, the guys yes, come and then so they just fail like here. They just come and then yeah, they, they just, they just like, fail. Oh, maybe. Gentlemen, go to the mosque next <laughs> time. That is the trick. Just get yes. up. before the father in law even gets up. You yeah, stand, you up. stand up and say, You know what? I need to go pray extra prayers. You know, it's you know, get extra rewards. Say that you get max. <clears throat> One more, you don't feel formal, like you don't feel like oh, I'm missing out on the no. dating scene in Nairobi. Not Love really, that. okay, not really because I know what I want. If you're not there, if you're not it, like that. And yeah, people feel like, oh my god, you do, you now who do you talk to? My friends, my family, <laughs> my friends. I do, and my family. I'm a very talkative person. But I trust that's the other reason. thing. Oh, I think this will be another episode of people not wanting to be by themselves and not enjoying their own company. company. I don't get that. Like, a lot if of, you're not happy by yourself yes. and you think happiness is somebody else, you're never going to be happy. See, I'm yeah. a very happy person. I am yes. a very happy she person, is. by the way. She's always bubbly. Always. Exactly. And I know people who are always in relationships because they don't know how to, to be, be alone. alone. That Just is jumping, a very jumping, dangerous jumping. place And then those, or people who are in relationship and then they want 
everybody around them to be in a relationship just because they're in a relationship. I'm like, good for you, congratulations. Yay. I don't want that. So, you see, I don't know what heart ache is, I don't know all these manners of talking stages and all that because I know what I want. Yeah. You want culture? What do you want? Family man. First of all, religion. I was brought okay. up with religion. Mm. So, so, I'm not saying I want you to, to be a sheikh, you're living inside the mosque. No. But, yes, you have to align. <laughs> exactly. It's, we, it's we, important. You know, if I wake up 5 a.m. to pray and you're like, why are you waking up? Yes. I want you to wake up. You are the one who's waking me up, maybe. Okay. Even. So, uh, religion. Mm -hmm. Character. Mm -hmm. A family man. Okay. And then, somebody who just gets my interests. Not somebody again who will ask me, why are you going to the gym? But you're not even up. Exactly. <laughs> and he'll tell, he, Emma, he'll try to change me and stop yes. me and tell me, go to a women's yes. only gym. Yes. Or, or don't go to, yes. don't have a male trainer. Or yes. to, that's another thing also. My dad always told us, find somebody who you, your interests align. Yeah. Otherwise, you always have yeah. problems. Problems. Yeah. And I think that's why my parents have been married for like 42 years. See? I already love her parents. You guys, we have to go. Thank you for joining us. But we have a next we'll be time back. Start. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. What we're hoping to do is to get a Muslim man next time so that we can Ooh. then have this conversation. So we'll be back. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.